Good morning and welcome to our service for Jackson Kimber. We'll begin, uh, for those with us online, we have links for you to follow along with. And for those here, we have our bulletins and our books of common prayer. So let us begin our service now for Holy Eucharist. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed, alleluia. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, who sent thy Son, Jesus Christ, to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, grant that we, like thy servant, Jackson Kemper, may proclaim the gospel in our own day, courage, vision, and perseverance, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, with thee and the Holy Spirit, liveth and reigneth, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. In the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Jackson Kimber is really a fascinating person in the history of the Episcopal Church. He was the first missionary bishop, paving the way for many of the Western dioceses in our church today. Bishop Kimber went to a part of the country that at the time could be very dangerous. And he helped prepare other clergy for this experience as well. He even reached out and tried to provide better worship for the Native Americans, that they could worship God in their own languages even. Our gospel today pretty much fits Kemper's work. He lived into the mission that Jesus gave. That Jesus gave the end of his own earthly ministry to go and make disciples of all nations. The questions for us then are will we follow in the example of Bishop Kemper? Will we follow the words of Jesus? Will we do the work of spreading the gospel? to all that we meet, even to the ends of the earth. <clears throat> the 
Since this is not a major feast day for the church, our service will now continue with the prayers of the people form three. Father, we pray for thy holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve thee. That thy name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of thy word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do thy will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in thy sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise thee for thy saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in thy heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Lord, hear the prayers of thy people, and what we have asked faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectually. For the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, if there are any who wish for laying on of hands and anointing, they may come to the altar at this time. Savior of the world, by thy cross and precious blood, thou hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Through thy my hands upon thee, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold thee and fill thee with his grace, that thou might know the healing power of his love. And I anoint thee with this oil in the name of the Father and of the Son. That are outwardly anointed with this holy oil, so may our Heavenly Father grant thee the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. For his great mercy, may he forgive thee thy sins, release thee from suffering, and restore thee to wholeness and strength. May he deliver thee from all evil, preserve thee in all goodness, and bring thee to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey. Now and evermore, our defense. Make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for help and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace the Lord be always with you. And peace to those who are with us online as well. So we continue our service now, walk in love as Christ loved us, and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice.
The service continues with the Eucharistic Prayer 1, found on page 333 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And be by your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounded duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, according to whose true promise the Holy Ghost came down from heaven, lighting upon the disciples to teach them and lead them into all truth, uniting peoples of many tongues in the confession of one faith, and giving to thy church the power to serve thee as a royal priesthood, to preach the gospel to all nations. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all of them in heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and say, Holy, 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 holy the Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For the thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered, a whole, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute. And in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of man's precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. When he had given thanks, he prayed and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of them. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, the remission of sins. This is often as you shall drink it, and remember this for me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with thee as thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial that thy Son hath commanded us to make. In remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We know that somebody that seeks to be a merciful Father to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness for safe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit, be as thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution. In remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, who is humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee. Humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and be in him. Although we are unworthy to our mouth sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounded duty and service, no weighing our merits, and pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Although you Christ our Passover once for all, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. O Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. The gifts of God for the people. Uh, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith. Our service continues with the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day always. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.